So now we will talk about the permanent maxillary second molar. It is a very similar tooth to the permanent maxillary first molar with some key differences. The first one is that the distobocal cusp is not as large or as well developed as in the first molar. You can see this is lingual, buccal, distal, mesial. The distobocal cusp is not as large and not as well developed as the one in the first molar. The second difference is that the distolingual cusp is smaller. It is poorly developed. We said this is lingual, buccal, distal, mesial. The distolingual cusp is the smallest. It is poorly developed. The third key difference is that there is no fifth cusp is evident. You can see there is no fifth cusp. This is the maxillary second molar from all aspects. You can see it is a very similar tooth to the maxillary first molar except some differences that we said that the sterlingual cusp is poorly developed. The distobocal cusp is not as large as the one in the maxillary first molar. And there is no fifth cusp. No fifth cusp. The tooth uh, is very similar to the maxillary first molar. Three roots, four cusps. And these are the main difference between the maxillary first and second molars. And now we finished the maxillary molars and inshallah we will shift to the mandibular molars. Shukran jazeen al-mushahada wa fi amanlah.